Hello everyone. Let's continue our lesson Mathematics Year One with the subtopic Measure and Compare the Volume of Liquids. And we're going to do this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. Hello and welcome to all of you. I hope all of you are in the pink of health. Are you ready? Please be ready. Set up your study space. Prepare your mathematics. Activity Book Part 2 and turn to page 59 and 60 of your book. Hurry up! Turn to page 59 and 60 of your Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. For today, you will learn about mass of objects. You will be able to measure and compare the volume of liquids. Before that, Let's continue our lesson with a quiz. It's quiz time. Are you ready? Let's begin. 20 minus 5. 20 minus 5. Quickly do count back. Let's check the answer. The answer is 15. 15. Well done. Next question. 18 minus 10. 18 minus 10. Let's check. The answer is 8. 8. Good job. Next question. 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8. Quickly try to count. Let's check. The answer is 5. 5. Well done and good job if you get the answer correct for all the questions. Now, let's measure the volume of liquids. We're going to measure the volume of liquids. Look at this one. We have a kettle. A kettle. Now we have cup, cup. Now look carefully. Can you tell how many cups is equal to the volume of a kettle? Can you tell how many cups is equal to the volume of a kettle? The volume of a kettle is equal to three cups. The volume of a kettle is equal to three cups. Good job! Next, we have a bottle of juice. A bottle of juice. And we have glass. Glass. Now, can you tell how many glasses is equal to the volume of a bottle of juice? How many glasses is equal to the volume of a bottle of juice? Let's have a check. The volume of a bottle of juice is equal to 5 glasses. The volume of a bottle of juice is equal to 5 glasses. Good job! Now, let's continue and compare the volume of liquids. We're going to compare the volume of liquids. Can you tell how many glasses is equal to the volume of a jug? How many glasses the jug can fill? Look carefully. The jug fills seven glasses. The jug fills seven glasses. Now, how many glass can the teapot fill? What is the number of glasses that equal to the volume of the teapot? 
The teapot fills three glasses. The teapot fills three glasses. Next. How about the kettle? How many glasses is equal to the volume of a kettle? Look carefully. The kettle fills 10 glasses. The kettle fills 10 glasses. Good job. Next. Let's read together. But first, look at the jug and the teapot. Please focus for the jug and the teapot. Now, let's read the question together. The volume of the jug is... Then the teapot. Can you tell? The volume of the jug is less or more than the teapot? The volume of the jug is more than the teapot. Good job! Let's read one more time. The volume of the jug is more than the teapot. Now, let's look at the teapot and the kettle. Let's read the question together. The volume of the teapot is... Then the kettle. Can you tell the volume of the teapot is more or less than the kettle? The volume of the teapot is less than the kettle. Less. Good job. Next, look at the kettle and the jug. Look at the kettle and the jug. Can you tell the volume of the kettle is more or less than the jug. The volume of the kettle is more than the jug. The volume of the kettle is more than the jug. Alright, good job and well done. Now, it's question and answer session. Are you ready? Let's continue. Look at the picture. Now, let's read the question together. The volume of milk bottle is more or less than the kettle. Can you tell the volume of the milk bottle is more or less than the kettle? The answer is less. The volume of the milk bottle is less than the kettle. Next. How about the kettle and the mineral bottle? The volume of the kettle is more or less than the mineral bottle. The answer is more. The volume of the kettle is more than the mineral bottle. Good job! So, the volume of the milk bottle is least or most amongst the kettle, mineral bottle, and the milk bottle, the volume of the milk bottle is least or most. Let's have a check. The answer is least. 
the volume of milk bottle is the least. How about the volume of the kettle? Can you tell? The volume of the kettle is least or most among the three objects. The volume of the kettle is the most. The volume of the kettle is the most. The answer is most. For today's main task, you need to complete page 59 and 60 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Take your pencil now and circle page 59 and 60 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. You need to complete page 59 and 60 of this book as your main task. Please submit this task by 5 p.m. today. For your additional task, please complete page 61 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This task can be submitted after 5 p.m. Complete page 61 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Please refer to Google Classroom to see further instructions. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.